Hi guys! Welcome to Adventure Vlogs where you have to find out who you are and leave it in purpose. Okay, who doesn't love cookies, diba? So let's make our own Quaker old cookies. Um, I crave kasi ako dito, so I decided to make my own. So let's start preparing our ingredients. So that's one and one half cup of flour. One teaspoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of salt. One cup of butter. Two eggs at room temperature. Tapos, one and one half cup sugar. Whatever you have available as a sugar. Then 300 grams of homemade peanut butter that's chemical free, so maganda siya gamitin. Then prepare your two cups of quick oats. That's the most important kasi quicker oats cookies yung gagawin natin. So now let's begin by sifting our flour. So make sure guys then is sift niyo yung flour niyo kasi as you can see marami siyang buo, -buo. So Pagkaganyan kasi yung ginamit nyo, um, pag kinagat nyo yung cookies nyo, parang meron siyang part na hindi naluto. I think na-experience nyo na rin yung ganyang bagay, no? So, let's sift our flour. Uh, sifting your flour will give you the soft texture pag kinagat nyo yung cookies. Tsaka, mas, mas masarap siya kainin kaysa yung may bobong hilaw pa at walang lasa. So, let me just finish sifting this flour. Then we'll proceed to combining our ingredients afterwards. So, and guys, prepare ko na rin yung pang mix ko. Alright, so let's put in first our baking soda. Then, next, baking powder. Then, next, salt. So, make sure guys na evenly distributed yung uh, ingredients na nilagay natin. So, imimix ko lang siya na alam kong madidistribute siya para umalsa naman yung cookies natin at magkalasa. So, next, we'll prepare our wet ingredients by starting with 1 cup ng butter. So, but, uh, mimix ko na rin lang siya using yung pang mix na ginamit ko kanina sa dry ingredients um, to give us that ano, soft texture. Then, I will add in my sugar after that. Sana lang hindi bumigay yung uh, kamay ko, no? Kasi madali siyang mamanhid. So, if it does, we will proceed to using an electric hand mixer. So, ayan. Soft na yung butter. Kasi nilabas ko siya sa fridge mga, ano, one hour before ako nag-start mag-prepare ng ingredients. Para soft talaga siya. Medyo nakakangawit siya, guys. So, Pag wala kayong electric hand mixer, kailangan nyo siyang tsagaan. Then, I'm adding in my 1 and 1 half cup of sugar. Pwede nyo siyang i-add slowly, pero sa akin gusto ko siyang i-add at once lang. Pero, I'm not sure if that's gonna affect the cookie, pero that's how I do it. And you can do it um, the way you prefer naman, no? So, later on kasi guys, matutunaw lang rin ng kanya yung sugar. Lalo na pag nadagdagan natin ng other ingredients. Alright, so, let's just mix and see where it takes us. <laughs> May ganong bagay. Okay. Medyo nangangawit na ako guys, seriously. So, I think I will just switch to using ano um, hand mixer instead so 
Yan yung hand mixer ko. Um, luma na yan. So, sana lang, no? Hindi siya mag-give up later. <laughs> and guys, um, tatapusin ko lang yung pag-mimix. Then afterwards, i-add na natin yung other ingredients. Okay, I'm adding in my room temperature eggs. So, dalawa yan. Um, i-add ko na siya lahat. So, guys, i-mix nyo siya hanggang sa magbigay siya ng parang uh, thick, yung makapal na texture. Yung parabang icing kind of texture. Yan. Makikita nyo naman yung itsura niya, no? Then, after that, ano, um, pre-prepare na rin natin. I-add na rin natin yung peanut butter, yung 300 grams of peanut butter. Medyo nahirapan ako dito kasi yung spatula yung ginamit kong pangkuha ng peanut butter. Or in, dapat kutsara para kasya siya dun sa bibig ng jar. Okay, guys. <laughs> Yan. Medyo mahirap siya kasi maliit yung jar. Um, kuha lang ako ng kutsara. So, ayan guys. Uh, Imimix na lang natin yung peanut butter and make sure na talagang nahalo yung peanut butter dun sa ating mixture. Um, Para naman, um, talagang lasan-lasan natin yung peanut butter pag kakinain natin yung cookies. Then, after this one, um, maglalagay lang tayo ng extract. It could be lemon or vanilla. But, for my case, ang ginamit ko dito is yung lemon. Uh, lemon extract. Kasi, wala akong vanilla. So, ayan siya. So, katapos nyan, um, actually, pinatahan ko lang siya ng siguro amounting to 1 teaspoon. Then, imimix ko lang ulit siya. Then, i-add ko na yung aking dry ingredients doon sa ating wet ingredients. No? So, Add nyo lang siya ng dahan-dahan para naman um, hindi mabigla yung pagkahalo at maganda pa rin yung magiging texture ng cookies nyo pagka na-bake siya. So, ayan guys, patapos na tayo sa ating um, paghalo ng wet ingredients and dry ingredients. So, next is ihahalo naman na natin yung ating 1 cup of Quaker Oats first. Then, pag nahalo natin yan, saka natin dadagdagan ng isa pa later. Okay? So, sana lang hindi gumive up yung aking mixer. Kasi masyado ng makapal yung consistency ng ating mixture. So, ayan. Mabango na siya, guys. Hindi pa siya nabibake kasi amoy na amoy mo talaga yung yung peanut butter at yung Quaker Oats. Hi daw, sabi ng aming manok. <laughs> okay. Ayan guys, dagdag na natin yung ating uh, last cup. Yan yung pinaka second cup natin ng Quaker Oats. And, mimix na ulit natin siya. Ayan na nga! Pumigay na nga! <laughs> Ayaw na gumana ng mixer. Um, wait lang guys, kukuha na lang ako ng sandok para haluin to. <laughs> so, yan. <laughs> Kasi. <laughs> Pero alam nyo, ma maganda pa talaga yung, ano, no? Ano bang brand yung kitchen mate? Pero wala pa tayong pambili nun. So, taste-taste muna tayo sa 
ating hand mixer na Hanabishi. Hindi yan sponsored. <laughs> Matanda na yung hand mixer na yan. Probably mga ano na, 6 years. 6 years old na siya. So, haluin na lang natin siya ng sandok kasi okay naman na quicker oats na lang din naman yung ating kailangan. Yung last cup na lang. So, okay lang na. Haluin na lang siya ng sandok. And now, since our butter is ready, uh, prepare naman natin yung ating mga uh, yun, bibilugin ko siya, bibilutin ko siya ng maliliit um, para ma-form natin siya ng cookies. Pre-prepare ko lang yung pan. Uh, lalagyan ko lang din ng wax paper para hindi ako mahirapan maghugas. No? So, ayan. So guys, kukuha lang ako ng maliliit na amount, then bibilugin ko siyang ganyan. Saka ko siya pipiratin ng kutsara later para um, maging form, I mean, maging ano siya, circle, circled cookies. Pwede din namang ibang shape, pero yan yung pinakamadali, no? So, yan. patience guys. Medyo marami-raming bilugan to guys. <laughs> So, kailangan talaga ng pasensya. Then, after this, ready na siya isa lang sa oven. So, ayan guys, nakalimutan ko sabihin kanina. Make sure na na-preheat nyo si oven at 177 degrees Celsius. Then, tululutuin na natin si cookies within 15 minutes sa the same temperature ng oven. Okay. Alright. So, our cookies are cooked and now ready to eat. Pero palamigin lang natin ng konti, no? So, ayan guys, if you like this video, please click like and subscribe. And also click that bell button so you'll be able to get notifications on my next vlog. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye!